All right, I think we're ready to go here. Just had to get the uh, replays in the correct folder. And yeah, there we go. Hmm, which lighting do we want here? That one? Okay. Man, my pop filter is on its last legs. Uh, stay there. Stay right there, pop filter. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Happy to have you here. Fusion Flare and Polo were here early. Sorry about that, guys. But we're, we are ready to go now. RJB is present with some, got some replays of his to cast. What up, Lawrence Chavez Fernandez? Welcome to you, especially. We got Jericho, Aiden Sedgwick, Marcel Lennart, and Sars Capex. <laughs> What is up, Sars K Pax? What a name. What a name to choose for YouTube. And Pennyfish. Pennyfish is here too. Okay, so let's hop right on in here. I believe we have some really good ones to go through here today. If we choose December 7th, we got some good stuff. We got some team games. We've got uh, some 1v1s. We've got a whole bunch. Actually, somebody sent me a whole bunch too. You just love k pax and SARS is your nick. You're aware that SARS is like a disease, right? You know about SARS? Real quick, I gotta expand the zip file. Yeah, so somebody sent me it's from your surname. All right, fair enough, guy. Fair enough, guy. You know what's been going on for me? If I choose up one level, it's been taking me up more than one level. Like, look, I'm here in two. This should take me up to seven. And it takes me up to December. Have you guys seen this? This only started about a week ago. It's really annoying stuff. Mr. Clean, what's up, Oleg? Saturday night's on its way in some countries. Hey, what's up, Polo? Yeah, so check this out. I'm in the folder 2 here. So I go 7. I go 2. Up 1 level should take me to 7, but it takes me to December. What the crap? Anyway. Ooh, breakfast cake sounds delicious. So yeah, 2 has a ton of games in here. Just like... A uh, bunch. So we might grab one of these if they're short, just as a warm-up game. Kind of choose one at random, maybe a ZVP, because boy do I love a good ZVP. And just a short one here, right? So like Sunday Man versus Drunk Zealot on Circuit Breakers. I'm down. It's going to be a short one. Let's see how this works out for us, huh? All right, so bottom right-hand corner here on Circuit Breakers, it is the yellow Zerg player, Sunday Man. And in the top right, it is the blue Protoss player, Drunk Zealot. Yeah, I've seen StarCraft 2 has been really wonky the last week or so. It is not a good experience for anybody, it seems. Uh, yeah. We could try Homeworld. I'm down with that. So it's going to be, a, again, PVZ here. APMs are not crazy through the roof. Which is just fine. Got the Overlord heading on up to see what's going on that way. Protoss. Running a probe around to do crazy proby things. And by that, I mean not all that crazy proby things. Okay, looks like we got it. Looks like we have uh, everything ready to go here. Probe coming on down to scout. 
And we'll eventually notice here this is a pool first play out of our Zerg player Sunday man who did go extractor trick, it looks like, to get up to 10 workers before you're supposed to be able to. Hoo hoo. The life hacks are real. The pro comes back around and says, aha, that's what we're looking at here. It is going to be a forge expand out of Drunk Zealot. And at this point, really good job scouting. Scouted the right way the first time, so you're going to see the lings, which is really fantastically done. So now you have some decisions, Drunk Zealot. You really don't want to expand here, guy. Oh my gosh, he's expanding. All right. Well, uh, if you wall off well enough here, you can make up for that. So what you're going to do... Gateway cannon would be nice. Like gateway cannon cannon would be nice. Is this a gap? I don't think that's a gap down there. It looks like a pretty solid wall. <laughs> Aiden's having hamburgers and pizza and popcorn for breakfast. That's funny. And then a gateway, right? And then a cannon. Okay. This is pretty well responded to by Drunk Zealot, I gotta say. Oh no, that's not a wall! I was worried about this gap. Oh my gosh. Alright, so Zergling is already in the house. Additional Zerglings are coming. Probe blocks it, but then they can go around the other way. You need to throw a ah! This is why you don't expand. This is why you don't expand if you see a quick pull out of your Zerg opponent. Bad things will happen to you like this. So the probes are actually fighting pretty well. They can do that. They're not bad fighters against the Zergling. Alright, so actually the uh, Zergling control here is not too shabby. Probe control, not bad either. Yeah, it would be nice if you could tell what buildings are making stuff. I agree, Moodiness Moon. That would be pretty cool for StarCraft to do that. But anyway, so that early aggression, actually not too bad. Not too bad for Drunk Zealot. We're looking at 16 probes to 12 Zerglings. I mean, this guy has exactly one kill, which isn't quite ridiculous. And he's expanded behind it as Sunday Man. So it wasn't a perfect, you know, it wasn't an all-in is what I'm trying to say here. It wasn't actually a fantastic uh, harass either. He did get one more probe, which is not bad. Hey, Micah, what's up, Micah? What's up, Squeal of Fortune? Macro hatch? Oh, it's a Hydralisk Den. Okay. So maybe like a, a bit of a Hydra rush here to follow this thing up. If your opponent's only making slow zealots, it's actually pretty good. Pretty good control here. Probe comes back around for a secondary scout. Are there a million zerglings or not? There are not. It's good to know. There are now a million zerglings, though. Looks around. Sees no lair. Sees no second gas. Only sees a hydralisk den. And then a macro hatch starts coming up, too. Which I think the probe will see, too, because the zerglings... Wow. Where'd the zerglings all go? Oh, they're... They're here. They're heading out. They don't notice the probes in their base. So that's not good. Alright, well now they notice the probe in their base and the probe is dead. So, one off up here. I really don't think that's a wall. I think Zerglings are going to be able to flow through that pretty easily. Another cannon on the way. Another pylon coming up. And yeah, at this point you just pretty much probe up a whole bunch. Yeah, if the lag is a problem, the lag is a problem. SARS. Sorry about that, my guy. Third base is actually done for Sunday, man. Still no gas. So we're looking at Hydras, man. We're just going for Hydras. We're going for speed on the Hydras. I would love to get range on the Hydras first. If you're going to be aggressive with them. Just because you can actually get hit by these cannons about to here. So you got to be really careful with your Hydras. I mean, you don't wall like this, that's for sure. Any more Hydras in production? No, it's really just the three here. Three Hydras, handful of Zerglings. Drunk Zealot is really probing up very nicely right now. Cybernetics Core. Finally coming up. Second Gas finally coming up here. Are we getting a Lair? Definitely not. We are getting range. We are getting plus one range to the Hydralisks in that Grooved Spines upgrade. 
that another cannon? There you go. Somebody said that Protoss needs to be cannoning a lot. So that's what we're seeing here. Yeah, I mean, generally less than 100 APM is a noob, but there are some players who know what they're doing and are pretty good at the game that have not fantastic APMs because they're not spamming, right? Like at this stage, I don't know, what are you doing if you're the Protoss player? You're just kind of cannoning up, producing stuff. He's spending his money pretty effectively, so it's not like a higher APM would help him with that. And there you go. So Hydra can attack that gateway even without the range upgrade. Oh boy. This is going to be pressure. It's going to be really a lot of pressure here for the Protoss. He's going to lose that gateway. Maybe end up losing the Forge too, which is getting the plus one attack upgrade. Got more cannons coming up to try to save this. Meanwhile, Zealot Legs is being researched. That Oh, that's a reduced... And a cancelled upgrade right there. And there we go. This is where the cannons come into play. So I think he's alright. Going for a Templar Archives. He could probably throw up another gateway. Which he's doing to replace the one that he lost. Which is really good here. Third base is mining. Sunday Man is still down in worker count. But he's actually doing okay in overall supply. 49. Rather 51 to 56. Which is not too shabby. So he is really droning up. He's making a Hydrolith and a few Lings here too. He wants to put some pressure up, but at the same time not completely forget his macro back home. Uh, bum, 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 bum. So Aiden, I actually do that out on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladin. If you want to follow me out there, I 100% do StarCraft 2 streams out there every week, actually. A couple times a week, depending on how things are going. So come give me a follow out there. Watch me out there if you want the StarCraft 2. This has really just largely been Brood War for the most part. Alright, man. Zealots have legs. They can do pretty well against these Hydras, but I think they might be severely outnumbered. Yeah, get out. <laughs> it's a lot of Hydralisks, man. What is possible and impossible, RJB? Sars, you tried doing the Zerg thing? And you get punished? What punishes you? Yeah, right, right. Depends on if the uh, APM is just spam or not. So, I mean, he's not interested in really going in there. He's pretty happy to just kind of sit back, hang out, expand to a fourth base. I feel like Lurker Aspect would be really good here, but that's not what we're doing. Is that Pneumatized Carapace? He's going for drops. Are you serious? Are you serious? Storm is just about done here, so 100%. Matt Perkins, he's on board with you, too. Ah, Sars, I see. <laughs> Sunday Man has some good vision on the map. I really like that. He's just checking around, trying to see if there are any ninja bases, and if he really has a contain here or not. Spawn Broodling is coming in. What? Spawn Broodling is coming in? That's crazy. I don't get 3D portraits with this. Oh, that was a good storm. Okay. All right. That's a good storm. Oh, like this? Hey, guys. Are we running because there's storm around? It was an okay storm. It wasn't great. This is droppage, though. This is 100% drops. He's making queens for spawn broodling. I don't know what for. Yeah, for sure. I like Hydras. Hey, don't you turn your back on me. Don't you turn your back on me, Hydralisk guy. Oh, a DT wanders in. Kind of feel like the Zerg player might have this. My gosh, it's 40 to 25 probes, which means the army supply is not very good for Protoss right now. I mean, he's got a whole ton of Zealots. He does have some Dragoons. He does have a couple High Templar. Yeah, if you just broodling down the High Templar and then move in with the rest of it, I think you might be okay, Sunday Man. 
Can I meet Meiosis on the way to 11 minutes? Ah, oh, Queen Rush. Are you serious? This is fantastic. Really, really enjoying this one. You get weird queen things, yo. Another base at the 3 o'clock position from Sunday Man. If he loses this while being on five bases to two bases versus the Protoss, I'm going to be upset. I mean, technically third base is on the way from Drunk Zealot, yes. But it's going to be hard to hold that, I feel like. That TT actually got out of there. I thought for sure he was dead. I thought for sure he were toast. And here's the engagement. We're moving right on up here. Eider's right on top of Zealot. Zergling's in the back a little bit. Dragoon's getting some nice damage off as well. Not even really using any storm here at all. Oh, the spawn brutaling on a couple of the High Templar. That would explain where the storm went. But is it enough? I don't know that it is. Suddenly, Drunk Zealot has a massive scary Protoss army with plus one attack. There's nothing here for Sunday Man. He's got his overlords, sure, but they're empty. There's nothing in there. And all of that expanding went to naught. Dark Templar down here trying to snipe down this base. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that plus one attack is done uh, for the Protoss. And there's nothing for the Hydralisks at all. Wow. I mean, that was nuts. Don't go queens, anybody. That is why this was a problem. Going queens will ruin your day. And that's it. Sunday Man is out. No GG. Drunk Salad is out. No GG. And that is it for that game. So pretty well played, honestly. Honestly, well played by that Protoss. Dealt with the early aggression, both the early pool and the early hydralisk stuff and didn't lose a whole lot again a gateway and a forge you don't want to lose those if you don't have to but it's better than losing the game and at the end of the day that was really fantastic just a why am i going to team liquid because autopilot that's why ah did the thing again going up goes two levels i don't know what it is la la la, la december 7th Pearl Harbor Day? I think it is. A day that shall be remembered in infamy. What's up, Han? I got your game here too, guy. Got it here somewhere. I'm trying to remember what the name is. Alright, so let's move on into... Let's do like a 14-minute 3v3 on Big Game Hunters from KD. Okay, that sounds reasonable. I like Katie. Katie's been sending me some good replays in the past. He is a cool, cool dude. Hold right here on Big Game Hunters. We have Team 1, the Blue Terran player, Zenk. His teammate right next door, happily. It is the Orange Terran player, Amnesia, spelled incorrectly. And then bottom left, far away, it is the Red Zerg player, Bracala. Team two is the Tan or Peach Terran player, Valio08. We've got I1 here. He is a Teal Protoss player. And then a Green Zerg player, kind of avocado green. It is Disco. All right, let's do this thing. Who's going to be on top? APMs are pretty good. Like, disgusting for most of these players. 200, 600, 400, 250. Got a little 60 and 90 APMers here. One on each team, so that maybe balances things out. Or again, maybe they're just not spamming in the early game, and that APM will skyrocket for Zenk and Valio 08 when the game actually gets moving on. Lawrence says he feels like bottom wins. Again, just because this guy is so isolated and easy to kill. Can't say that I necessarily uh, disagree with you here. Hornburger! What's up, man? Cannon rush? Who's doing a cannon rush? I see no evidence of a cannon rush from any of these other non-Protoss players. It's a gateway. And uh, no cannon rush. So never mind. That was a bad read. 
That was a really, really bad read there from whoever said a cannon rush is coming. Is this the only Protoss for real? Yeah, it's all Terrans and Zergs and one Protoss. We usually see more than that in these games. People enjoy their Protoss very much. Understandably so. So Gateway, Forge. That's got to be a defensive Forge, though. Just because it's so late. Extractor Pool opening here from bottom left. Bracala. Barracks coming up from top right. Barracks from top right. So... Just getting into the speed of things here. You want a red versus blue? It? Let's hear it in the chat. If you want to do red versus blue versus these team colors. In a 3v3, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I really don't mind doing regular original colors in a 3v3. But but I will definitely go to red versus blue if that's what you all want. So Lawrence, Eugen, Fusion, and Matt Perkins. And Mr. Guy says red versus blue. Okay, fine. That was real fast. Red versus blue it is. The people have spoken. And it, Falcon will deliver. As he often does. Hey, look! It is a cannon rush. Just one that starts at three minutes. So, not great, actually. Not the best cannon rush of all time. Is this IU1? This is IU1 with a bad APM. Actually, it started out good, and now it's not that great. So, uh, yep, c Zank's up to 100 now. Possibly increasing. Everybody's kind of settled down into regular APMs at this stage. I am democratic. I give the people what they want most of the time. Oh, no. Big Zergling attack. Can they get through this? Ah, that's not even close to a wall. Okay. Uh, big Zergling Ling Flood from Team Blue pushing on in against the Terran. Goodbye, Barracks. That's right. Hail Falcon. For he owns the stream. Yeah, that was not a great wall, Sarge. You're not wrong. So, Barracks is dead. Barracks is mostly dead. Barracks is dead? Yep, it's dead. Zerglings on top of SCVs, on top of Marines. Amnesia says, ah! Help me! Yeah, he lifted the Barracks, but it was too late, Eugen. Should have done it earlier. Good call. Hey, Lachlan Short in the house. What's up, Lachlan Short? I have missed you. Happy to have you here. Man, Zerglings are not bad against unupgraded Marines, you guys. Like, really not bad against up upgraded Marines. Oh my gosh, they've done so much work. They have done so much work. What's up, Only Use Me Platter? <laughs> what a name. I'm glad you like the original StarCraft. I also enjoy the original StarCraft very much. So I'm casting it. Why else would I be doing this? If I hated StarCraft, would I be doing this? No. I would not. And all those people are like, don't do it if you hate doing it. You'll get burned out. I'm like, look, you guys, I've been doing this for five years. If I hated doing it and got burned out, I would have stopped years ago. We're good. I love it. It makes me happy. That's all there is to it. I agree, Matt Perkins. I have said for a long time that floating buildings, when they explode, should do damage to the stuff below them. That'd be so great. Can you imagine floating a barracks into your opponent's base and forcing them to kill it? And then it rains down and does damage to their worker line? Ha 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 ha! That would be fantastic. Got some sunken here against blue zerglings trying to kill bottom left, but you know what? Bracala is not doing too bad down here. Not doing too bad down here. Yeah, Squeal of Fortune. Oh, yes, during the remastered hype. That was a good time. I enjoyed the remastered hype. And I was casting some original StarCraft for sure. I was doing that. I do some of that still too a little bit. But the remastered client is just easier to work with and a little bit, a uh, little shinier. If you know what I mean. All right, is our Protoss player going for carriers? The answer is no. He's kind of stuck on gateway tech, which does not bode well for him in the long run. Orange, if you could throw turrets in my base, that'd be great. I mean, sort of, because, you know, you've got creep and you can't build on creep. But he is going to one base mutilisk here, which is fine. It's a fine strategy on big game hunters. Yeah, what's up, Bladder? I saw your comment. I appreciate Yes, I follow. Spider mines against Marines. 
I don't know Sudden Strike, no. Uh, Vulture versus Vulture sneaking on up here, and, uh... No? Repair! Repair the wounded bike! Oh, spider bite damage! Oh, it worked out. Everything was better than usual. Meanwhile, the mutas are being a problem. Red defends up top. Red's doing all right in the bottom left here, too. Nobody's really taking serious damage. With the exception, again, of our top player, Zenk. But he's okay. I think he's going to be all right. Is that 22 SCVs? It's not too off. Muta's coming in, but there are three turrets in the house. And they're pretty well positioned with a bunker, too. It is going to be hard to get a lot of stuff done with these mutalists. Yeah, vultures hover, Lawrence. Anything that hovers, SCVs. Probes, drones, and then the vultures don't trigger spider mines. Alright, Mutus at least trying to pick up a couple tanks here in the bottom right if they can. Zealot's doing some pressure in the bottom left against Bracala. I1 is trying to get in here and finish this dude off. His mutalists are a little bit away from home right now. Oh, they spared the SCV. There was an SCV down here building a command center all by himself. Totally spared. Yeah, yeah. Zealots on top of the Sunkens. Muta's defending. This is so many Mutalisks out of Bracala. He has more supply than anybody else right now in the game. Hey, no problem, Mr. Bladder. Yeah, so we're seeing mech stuff out of our Terran players for the most part. I guess this is bio top right, though. He's got a lot of barracks running. He's got his engineering base. Yeah, Mr. Guy, if you go into multiplayer and choose Battle.net, there are definitely players, especially on the U.S. West server, pretty much all the time. Pretty much all the time. So Mutalisks coming up to join their marine friends. Going to try to march in here on the Zerg and wipe them out. It looks like they're working together that way. And there's really only a handful of Zerglings over here for the Zerg player. What is he trying to do? It's a macro hatch. And he only has a spawning pool. What on earth is this? Whatever it is, it's not going to do much. Yeah, Disco is out. He's left the game. He didn't have anything at nine minutes. How do you not have anything at nine minutes? I don't follow. All right. Well, we're going to leave him to die. Mutaflock, pretty big and scary. Protoss player is making Dragoons. Smart thing to do. Also going for Corsairs. A very smart thing to do there, too. Uh, Mr. Guy, honestly, this is not all that demanding. StarCraft Remastered is not all the demanding. If you buy a $500 PC or laptop and it's new, you can play this game. No problem. Red walking in a tank fire. Not super great. Mutas decide not to get in there. We've got some Goliaths. We have some turrets messing with us. Mutas rallying in to their deaths. That was not a good rally. You can't do that, especially on huge maps with this with, with your team games. Man. All right. So they're going to push in on Protoss now and try to finish him off. Yeah, this is a lot of Mutalisks. I concur, Mr. Guy. And head on to the south, see what he can do here against it. It's a pretty decent wall. Got some Dragoons and Zealots. I don't know if they have legs yet. That would be really nice if they had legs, but I don't think they do. And yeah, at 12 minutes... We're... Ah, there's your fleet beacon. 
So he was trying to get carriers out, I feel like, this whole time. I don't think he's going to be given the time or the ability to do so. <laughs> Chinese smartphone. Looks like Zank has expanded to the top left. Good for him. It's a nice place, open place to go. Yeah, everybody's gathering up to push down here on I-1. Uh, Worcester 1 here is in a lot of trouble. He might actually have a couple carriers by the time they decide to move in. Bracala says, wait. Wait a second here. Mutalisk with no attack upgrades. Marines with 1-1 one, one here from Team Rad Tanks with plus one attack, which is pretty good, actually. I don't know, man. Bracala's at 200 APM. Not bad. Oh, Corsair. Yeah, get out of there, Corsair. Get right on out. You think so? I think the Nexus is, uh, that's a lot of, lot of cannons there. Not bad. All right, we're pushing in. Here we go. It is time for the attack. We'll do that. That seems like a decent screenshot. And yeah, that's definitely all she wrote for one down here. Where are the High Templar? High Templar would have saved the day. Would have totally saved the day. Carrier comes out, instantly dies because it didn't have any interceptors yet. That is a really, really lot of probe, set, probe death sounds. And there we go. So blue is out. Bottom right here. This Terran player is going to try to hold on. He's trying to help his buddy out, but he does not have nearly the anything to handle these mutalisks. No irradiates. No Valkyries. No nothing. Yeah, for sure. This is a Bronze League hero game. It's how it works, man. I-1 is out. He didn't actually leave the game before he died. Good for him. Way to stand it to the end. Now he's left the game. Uh, these Goliaths are okay, but they're severely outnumbered. And he's out too. And that's it. Team Red, Zenk, Amnesia, and Bracala are your winners here in 14 minutes and 23 seconds. Manages to stay alive despite the fact that he was all alone down here in the bottom left. So good job by Bracala especially. Not too bad. What's up, Canada? J J G Gazola. Good name. Not a bad name at all. La la la. Viewer submitted for the month of December 7th. And we're going to do... Uh, wow. 4v4 and 22. 17 minute uh, new baby 6 game. Got another big game hunters here. I one v one at what I want to know. That's a two v two that RDAB sent in. Jugga, 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 jugga. I'm gonna stream for about another hour and a half. Uh, my kids are eleven, nine, and six, and I have introduced them to StarCraft. They seem to enjoy it, but not super, super, super into it. And yeah, definitely good football on today, Matt Perkins. I agree. Gonna be watching some of that. Absolutely. What is this? Send to Falcon. Four minutes. ZVP. All right. Let's see what this four-minute game is. I hereby accept a four-minute game as acceptable. All right. So top right here on Fighting Spirit, it is the yellow Zerg player, Coco Mechanic, which is a good name. Uh, Matt Perkins, I am not a Utah fan, so I will take it. In the bottom left, it is the great Terran or Protoss player, Tense. Yeah, is it a worker rush? Is it a quick, like, six pool or something? Who's doing the craziness here? Yeah, the Utah getting crushed last night was one of the football highlights of my entire year, so. No need to apologize. I mean, what a game. To go from thinking that you're going to be in 
possibly in the college football playoff to playing in like the Alamo Bowl. Alamo Bowl is bad. That is a bad day for Utah football fans for sure. All right, well, uh, this is really, this gray is so hard to see on the mini map. Where are you proxy gating? Ah, here. Okay. Consider it revisited, Matt Perkins. Or was there more we needed to go into on this? Because I feel like it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Definitely not a Zerg Rush, man. There is no pool coming up from this Zerg at all. Going for the 12 hatch. Really, it's a small thing, but making these minerals actually return to the hatch before you send this dude out to throw up a hatchery, it just it adds up over time is what I'm saying here. So anyway, you went hatch first against a double gateway opening here from your Protoss opponent. Gonna be hard to hold, my guy. Gonna be really, really hard to hold, my guy. Oh, interesting. And then a forward pylon here. I don't know what for. I mean, unless he's making a forge too? What is this? Why would he make a pylon right there? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Zealots have arrived. Oh, a shield battery. Sorry, I was off doing some other stuff, obviously. Hey, what's up, Ross? Happy to see you here, too. Decent hold here from the Zerg, like staying alive longer. And that was your one chance. Sunken is dead. The Zealots are not dying. Ross, we're 40 minutes in. Holy crap, these guys. Six kills. Five kills. And five kills. Oh, no. One of the zealots died, but it doesn't really matter. Another zealot died, and it doesn't really matter. And that's it. Coco Mechanic is out. And our little proxy zealot play won the day. Also, there was a shield battery, which I'm kind of okay about. It's kind of interested in the shield battery. It was overkill, obviously, but not bad. That was a quick one. That was a super, super fast one. La, 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 la. December 7th. Where is the one from RJB? Here it is. 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 Okay, so 2v2 here sent from RJB. Throwing out the puns in chat. The wordplay is real. Click on RJB, StarCraft cast name over there. He does cast fastest map every day. Well, maybe not every day. I don't know. He casts it a lot. So check it out for fastest map stuff. So we got a 2v2 here in the fastest map, top right. We are looking at the... God, what color is this? Gray? Is this one gray? Gray Protoss player, Jugga. And then his teammate over on the far side is the blue Protoss player, 51893401. Top side is Team 2, Lee Bakgu. He's a Terran player. And on the right side is Pink Protoss, Sudden Wang. <laughs> Hang on. We're on fastest. We're definitely on fastest here. So don't you worry about that. 
Yeah, somebody needs to translate all the Korean things for us. Anyway, Probe successfully scouts one of his dudes here. day today it's December I'm expecting it to be like zero degrees probe decides to come on back home obviously zealot openings from the Protoss because what else do you do in a fastest map game right there's nothing else to do at Protoss are there other openings RJB other than three gate zealot or four gate zealot Anyway, we're red versus bluing this just because the colors are so very muted right now. So, the Marines are going to try to save the day here, throwing up a bunker, trying to stay alive against the Zealot pressure. Which, so far, so good. Not dead. Really didn't take much damage at all. Zealot pressure coming across the map the other way, though. Cannons coming up, trying to help with this, and really should be just fine against this early harass. No problems. No problems there at all. And really trying to kill this Terran. Like, straight up, setting up a pile on here, throwing up a ton of zealots from both players. They really don't care necessarily about killing. Well, maybe they do. I don't know why, though. There are cannons coming up. Like, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here. There's going to be two cannons here sooner rather than later and defensive zealots. Seems like the better thing to do would be push on this guy. But alright. Pressure, pressure, pressure. What's up, Big Aloo? Welcome to the stream. Bunker trying to save the day here. Couple Marines going down. But the bunkers are looking alright. SCB to finish off that would be really good. Also, range for Marines would be fantastic too. Oh, friendly zealots here to help. We're gonna shut this right down. Goodbye. Goodbye, everything. And Terran stays alive. Not bad. What's up, Jeremiah Galagos? Welcome to the stream. Zealot versus Zealot pressure. Not really my favorite thing here. Yeah. Four gate seems better. Sudden Wing has some words. Marine Zealot pushing in. Medics with Zealots. Pretty stupid, disgusting good. And here we go. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. 518. Your teammate coming. Your teammate is coming to help right now. But taking down those gateways is a big deal. You need to be able to spend your money fast in the fastest map. You can't spend your money. It's going to be bad. Yeah, I kind of like the advantage that medics are giving here. Medics plus zealots is a really strong force multiplier. And zealot versus zealot action. Medics are going to be a big stinking deal. They decided to push in here and maybe try to kill Protoss in the top right then? I don't know. Is Bunker even full? That Bunker's not even full. Neither is that one. Are you going to get backdoored here? Oh boy, this is sneaky. This is really sneaky stuff here. Man, he could maybe... Ooh, there's fire bats out, though. Never mind. There's fire bats. Here we go. Again, the important thing here is your Sim City. Just so only a few zealots can get in, and the rest of them are kind of stuck back behind the wall. 
All right, medics, healing up as best they can here versus the Marines, especially. A lot of zealots are dying from both sides. Defensive zealots and a DT coming in <coughs> from his teammate trying to help out. <coughs> Stupid medics, come on. Can they take down as many probes? All right, so the cannons all died, but that was about it. I mean, we're still looking at the Cybernetics Court and the Forge and the Citadel of Adun and all of his gateways here. So that wasn't horrible. It is only 19 probes right now for Jugga, which is not ideal. But you can recover pretty fast and fast this map. Yeah, he did lose a bunch of his probes, exactly. But I don't think it's end game for him at this point. It didn't, he's not going to lose it. Red pushing in with some DTs. Again, cannons good for detection and for dealing with DTs. Both reasons. And I mean, pretty happy just to kill a couple of gateways, it looks like. DTs versus DTs, and nobody has detection. That's always fun. <laughs> hilarious. Look at him staying out of the cannon range. What a really, really good player. Just kidding. He took a bunch of shots for no reason. It's good. Oh, the Dryad. It's the same voice actor as the Medic in StarCraft Brood War. Interesting. Huh. Storm drop! Not accomplishing a whole lot, I don't think. So, Marine Firebat Tank Zealot pushing on into the top right here. Which, again, did slow down Jugga. Again, getting in here is going to be really hard to do, but setting up some pressure is not that hard. DT's dropping over here in the bottom left, trying to snipe down a Stargate. That's pretty exciting stuff. Alright, tank sieging up. Zealot's trying to jump on top of them. Can't quite get there because of the defending Marines and Firebats and Zealot's there too. That's a really scary position for tanks to get in here. Oh, follow-up storm drop. Oh, that was brutal. Ten probes remaining from Jugga. And everybody's going nuts in chat over here. Sudden Wang having a bad time. Whoa! Storms, though. Storms making it happen. Capping. All the probes died here for Jugga, but he's not dead yet. His teammate came to help him. We got some storm out. Trying to follow up, but there's enough here to defend it, actually. So, uh, not too shabby. Again, the probe deaths for Jugga are immense. He's going to have a really hard time at this point. Bit of a uh, huge storm drop up north here at the same time. Terran player is sitting at... Well, that was a good one. That was a good one, too! Oh, my gosh. That was really great. Lee Baku's down to 26 probes all of a sudden. Yeah! The Archon's not going to finish. Wow. That was a brutal drop. Zealots on top of Marines here. If they don't micro well, it's going to be a bad thing. Storms. Storms happening everywhere. Not necessarily hitting targets, but that's okay. I suppose. Counterattacking. Pushing up here to Lee's base. Great storms. This is why you can't go bio versus Protoss. 
really should have just gone mass mech here at some point, but this is chaos right now. Firebats trying to hold their own against these zealots to some extent. But it's almost even too hard to tell what's going on. Oh my gosh, the Archon drop. The Archon's getting on top here. Jugga. I don't know what happened to Jugga. Jugga's down to one probe. Lee Baku's down to 19 SCVs. They're trying to snipe down this command center instead of getting, you know, SCVs. These would be a really good target, my guy. Wow. All right. Fair enough, I suppose. It'd be hilarious if there was still something in that shuttle. Like, really funny. More storm dropping. That was a great storm. Okay, this is getting a little bit nuts with all the storm drops today. I don't think this one has defended it either. Got the... Okay, got the SCVs out. Not bad. It's going to fly across here into safety. If all the SCVs got pulled. Swinging back on in for round two. Unloading. Great storm. Great storm. Really good storm. Nine SCVs remain for Lee. Nine. It's seven. Fourteen and seven workers for two of the players. One on each of the team here. More storm drops on the left, though. Ah! Holy crap, 518 is down to 46, which, okay, it's not as terrible as, like, 7, as it turns out. That dropship just actually survives somehow, but cannon down before we can get a single shot off. That hurts. That really hurts. So the 48 and 54 worker players are going to have to carry a little bit as they each have a teammate that is struggling super, super mightily right now. I don't think Storm died, or Sound died. Just Archons and Zealots, huh? Oh, they want to get that Command Center so bad. They got it, too! Bam! Command Center down! And, uh, Terran is in trouble, but not dead, I would say. Firebats, actually really bad against Archons. Pro tip. This Archon should really get up here against these SCVs. And he is. Or he was. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He's got six kills. It's not bad, but it's not like game winning necessarily. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Splash damage. Ten kills. And he's down. <laughs> Poor Jugga. Jugga's having a bad time in this game. I mean, so is Lee, though. 9 and 12 workers is not basically the same thing. It's another drop attempt coming on up. Dragoons to f finish off these missile turrets. Not bad. So cool. Look at this medic. Not a bad storm, but again, not enough to stop Sudden Wing here. Drop round two. Dragoon's ready for it, though, man. Good pull. Good pull. Oh, the secondary storms, though. Oh, no. 19 probes remaining from Sudden Wing. Oh my gosh, he's out! He gets dropped once, leaves the game, and it is Jugga and 518 who are your winners. <laughs> oh man.
man. That was fantastic. All right. Well, uh, never really turned into any massive battles necessarily. It was all drops and drops and storm drops and archon drops and no reaver drops today, I don't think, unless I missed one. Yeah, that was an insane storm drop. That was really hard to get away from. Woo! Not bad. Excellent suggestion, RJB. And submission. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, poor Jugga down here. Lee's down here. Wang's down here. And then 518 did okay. Let's see, he didn't get dropped a million times. Where's yours, Han? I want to cast yours, guy. What was it called? Is this the one? La oh, you're Lons. Are you Lons? No. Yes? Yes? King Crus. King Cruz. That's it. Okay. Yeah. King Crux 777. This is Han's replay. I like Han's replays. They're fun. They are good. They are fantastic. So red versus orange here. On fastest map again. We're going to speed this one up in the early game just because not much happens. So left side of the map, it is the red Protoss player. King Crux, 777. And on the right side of the map, it is the orange Terran player, Lanzi. Lanz, we're going to call him. Just easier to do. So scouting around, throwing up. Oh, actually a four Gena Gateway. Worried about early aggression, it would seem. Here on fastest. Yeah, it is kind of a PBZ build. Absolutely. <clears throat> so a bunch of barracks up, as is tradition. A bunch of gateways here, as is tradition. Zealots ready to rock. They are pushing out. We're going to slow this sucker down, because the push is real. Bunker is real, too, though. He's worried about a DT rush, it would seem. Oh, that's not really a wall. Uh, Not really a wall. Oh, snap, Lons. Here goes nothing. If you drag the zealots back over here, okay, it's not too bad, I suppose. Huh, yeah, they're doing fine. But then, you know, zealot shows up. Alright, pushing on in against a single cannon and a bunch of zealots. So cannon down, but your fire bat's already dead. And the zealots can handle this. I heard Canada wants to build a wall to keep Americans out, though, GoPro Joe. So maybe we can work together to build a wall that keeps everybody out. Meanwhile, Zealots are going for the run by again. Uh, they're just kind of going for it here, which I think they should do. Target fire and SCVs is going to be a good thing. SCVs fighting is not what they should be doing here. That allows the Zealots to more easily target fire them back. Oh, this is really bad for Lons all of a sudden. Taking out a missile turret. Going after SCVs, going after Marines here too. Good positioning, actually. How do you cover a whole country with a wall? That sounds like impossible. SARS. And the Zealots are gone, but it is only 24 SCVs now to 32 probes. So King Crux playing this pretty well, I would say. Going for a Templar Archives here at six minutes, which is gorgeous. Just beautiful. 
Oh yeah, Dome. Wasn't there a TV show from... I want to say four or five years ago, Under the Dome? Like, it was based on a Stephen King novel. And it started out okay, and then I really only heard bad things about it after that. Here we go, pushing on out. Got our cannons, got our zealots, working on storm, working on zealot leg enhancements, which we almost have here. And legs are almost done. DT's in the mix to try to mess with this too. I'm loving the DT choice. Legs is done. Storm is on the way. What is Terran waiting for? Lons, what's happening here? He's trying to do with the Zealous with Mass Vulture. Does he have Spider Mines? That'd be good, actually. Doesn't have Spider Mines. You're going to make this many Vultures. you got to make Spider Mines, my guy. Really got to make Spider Mines. And then you drag the Zealous up into them, and they, they, then they die. All right. Here we go. Zealots going for it. They've got their Leg Enhancements upgrade. The DT's in the mix here as well, but there's a Missile Turret coming up. a lot of vultures man but pretty good buffers there's your missile turret dt's can't do a lot anymore although they did kill an scv so that counts for something one two three four five six oh they got it but they died too they got it but they are also totally dead tank positioning right here is mean that is just really fantastically mean tank positioning Poor Vulture taking shots from the tank. Carriers in production from King Crux, though. So, I mean, you know what's really bad against carriers? All of this stuff. All of this stuff is really bad against carriers. So, uh, I like what we're seeing here out of King Crux, honestly. He's got 43 probes. He's got 76 APM. He's teched up to Templar. He's got Zealots. He's got DTs. He's going for carriers to counter what his opponent is doing. Goliath in production here from Lon's back home, but he's not, in fact, going for the Charon booster upgrade, so I don't think he knows. Ah, oh, DT managed to get over here to shut down this tank. Not bad. Really not bad play with the DTs here from King Crux. I'm liking it. He's making carriers. He's getting increased carrier capacity. He's holding with zealots and DTs the rest of the way. Yeah, I think Lons is uh, Han. That's our guy. Yep. Han is Lanz here. He's making Goliaths, but not getting the Karen Booster upgrade and not really making a lot of Goliaths. Yeah, the Valkyrie pilot does not sound American at all. True fact. I don't know. Isn't the whole point? It's a United Earth Directorate. They're all under the same government. They might have different accents, but they're not, no one's an American or a Russian or a Frenchman anymore. Zealots, push it out. Pushing on top of the Vultures, getting on top of the Goliaths here as well. Tanks in the back trying to snipe down these Zealots as fast as they can. They're doing an okay job of it, but man, these Zealots not dying super well. They don't even have any upgrades other than the leg enhancements. Man. I mean, I've always thought that the um, Valkyrie pilot sounded kind of Russian. Battlecruiser operational also sounds kind of Russian. I agree with chat here. This is a pretty good back and forth, I gotta say. Uh, there's your Charon booster. Still making tanks and vultures, though. 
I don't think Lons knows about these carriers, guys. Like, I'm pretty sure he doesn't know about these carriers. This could be a problem for him. He's got good vision, though. Valkyries are Scandinavians? Diablo. German. Ah. Fair enough. I could see German. Valkyrie pilot is a woman, Oleg. Definitely is. 100%. Great, though. Waiting launch orders. It's my favorite thing to say. have arrived and suddenly Lons is like okay four goliaths at a time go 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 three the waiting lawn chairs it's not bad Brian I like it all right so surprise carriers have arrive are there any original Starcraft units that have like American or that have non American accents for Terran? I guess Battle Cruiser definitely not an American accent, so fair enough. Look, the whole point, again, is that there's a United Earth Directorate. There is no America anymore, there is no Russia anymore. I heard that rumor, Evan, but I don't know that it's true. pushing in, but he doesn't have enough Goliaths for this. His tanks are all in a lot of trouble here. Additional Goliaths are here, but the uh, carriers are using this high ground vision pretty effectively. I'm gone. Ready to move out. Oh, getting some decent body shots here. Decent body shots here. So carrier group stands at a pretty darn scary nine right now. Uh, Lons is making Goliaths, which is nice, but it's 149 to 111 supply. Five Goliaths at a time are in production, but it feels like it might have been too late. It might have been... Oh, Wraiths are in production, so Ross, you're right about that. Cloaked Wraith's not bad here. I don't think he got cloaked, though. Maybe he did. He's got a control tower. So, plus one attack on the Goliaths. No upgrades for the carriers yet. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Cloak is done. Cloaked Wraith's going to town on these guys a little bit here. Why didn't you bring detection? Oh my gosh, no! I mean, it's not a lot of rates. He decides to just go for something here. We're gonna go for that main command center he is, but he's taking serious shots. He's throwing away his carriers for nothing right now. He's not gonna get the command center. He really should have just gotten out of there. All right, uh, that was brutal. That was throwing away all of your carriers for approximately nothing. So Wraith decided to go kill some cannons, which is not ideal. Like, actually the worst idea in the world.
carriers, dragoons, and the production zealots here too. King Crux definitely, he's making six carriers at a time, which is pretty good. Carriers trying to do what they can with their limited their limited interceptor count here. well so, I don't know some structures going down here for King Crux but not losing a ton and I mean if at first you don't succeed keep making carriers I guess is the idea here going ghost cloak Wraiths, Goliaths, ship weapons upgrades for the Wraiths. Continuing to push down units here. Lons wants to keep the pressure on. Is that true? Is there no observatory for Protoss? Holy smokes, he's not doing detections still. My guy, you gotta have observers. He's making ghosts, actually, right now. Uh, where are my guys? There they are. There are my ghosts. Wearing orange stuff, looking good. Ugh. Hey, look, cloak rates are wrecking you again. My guy, seriously, though, detection, please. Detection, please. Oh, hang on. Don't fly into the cannons, though. Okay, well, all the wraiths are dead. I guess you don't need detection if the wraiths will personally fly into the cannons for you. So that's nice. Yeah, use those cannons for defense against this. Where are my ghosts at? Where are they going to lock down? Are they going to call down a nuke? We got to get some good stuff here. Carrier's taking some hits here. Yeah, I mean, I like the production we're seeing here out of Lons. There are uh, DTs in the mix, though, causing some problems, and there's no detection. There we go. There's a detection. Enjoying that. Another carrier town. This has just been a non-stop battle here. Goodness. Yeah, you're right, Sam. The French have a really storied military history, but it's just rough when the biggest war of all time, you really didn't do much. I'm not even saying it's your fault, but... That's the problem, is that World War II is the biggest military conflict of all time, and France didn't really do its thing. There was La Résistance, which was nice. They did resist Nazi occupation to some extent, but, like, militarily, just didn't do a whole lot. So again, Lon's just coming in. He's got army. He's going to use it. Here come the ghosts, though. Where's our lockdown? Where's, there it is! We got our lockdown! Yeah! Woo! Got a single lockdown, I think. Not bad.
So, I mean, one of the carriers is locked down, which is nice. Um... This guy is certainly dead. Ghost taking shots here. Zealot on top of ghosts. More zealots. I mean, this has been, if nothing else, a scratchy, scratchy game. Scratchy or scrappy? Scrappy. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, Han, how did you find a guy that doesn't build observers at all? Like, has no concept of detection. Seriously, at this point, I'd maybe just go mass wraith. Hey, what's up, Rainbow Cloud? Like, seriously, mass wraith, and every time the carriers try to leave their base, you just kill them. I mean, Russia, yeah, I would argue that Russia won that war. I mean, Hitler was stupid to do what he did in attacking them anyway, and the way he did it, for sure, but yeah, Russia did pretty well there. Attacking Russia in winter is inevitably a horrible life decision. I mean, ooh, ocular implants, I like that. I really like that. He's really upgrading his ghosts right now. What up, Han? Do it. Nah, Sam. There was too much fighting in other places. Too much fighting in the Pacific. In the South Pacific, over in Japan. That Russia wasn't really involved in at all to consider it Russia versus Germany. Too many sea battles. Too much ocean warfare for it to be Russia versus Germany. Yeah, exactly. Here we go! More lockdowns! Not enough energy. Brutal. All right, carrier count. Still okay. We're looking at seven. But look. Yeah, the fighting in North Africa was big too. That's the reason. World War. Yeah, these carriers are done. Super, super done. All right. It's 187 to 124 supply. We are looking at a Protoss player who's making nothing but carriers, has no interest in detection. And uh, is he working on upgrades either today? What do we think about that? 1-1, uh, one, one, not bad. One armor, one shield is okay, I guess. Science vessels flying into cannons, unfortunately. I mean, in fairness, it's a lot of cannons to get through with Goliaths, but that's why you have some tanks. Hey, look, it's an observer! Holy crap, he made it! I don't know when he built it, or when he built the observatory, but he made it. It's probably too late at this point. Uh-oh.
I mean, King Crux is not going away, everybody. He's got Observers now. He's going for Observer Speed. Tanks are crushing through. I mean, oh boy. Trying to make as many interceptors as a Protossly possible here. Here we go. There are some ghosts that could toss down lockdown over here. There we go. There's one lockdown. Ah, ah, ah. Two lockdown. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, Benser. Um, if I get the replays, I could probably do something like that. And that's it. King Crux is out. Too much lockdown, too many Goliaths, too many tanks. Nicely done, Han. Really, really good job there. He's still going, but we don't have time. We have no time to stick around for the rest of that one. As it is finito. Falcon versus Link rematch. Who's Link? Oh, we're we talking about Link from when I was in college. Holy smokes! That is a uh, that is a callback. Callback a Rama. Okay, we need to do a uh, Hanex replay. So we'll do this one and then we'll play. Red versus blue, this sucker. I'll get rid of this for a little bit too, just because I kind of hate it. Although we'll check APMs, fine. All right, so team one dun, 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 is represented by. I guess we have to do this for a second though, huh? The yellow Zerg player, Computer. Cop Muter, rather. We've got the dark blue Protoss player, Don't F with Me. Next door, Fat Protoss. And then their teammate on the left side. This is pretty good. Wunibe. He's Zerg. Team 2 represented by the red Zerg player V. We've got an orange Terran or Protoss player TTT SPS. White Zerg player Noob86. And down here is Snip. So nobody's isolated in this game. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is pretty nice. I think uh, nobody should die early in this game. Which is always a bonus. Looks like uh, Noob86 Hanix wants to go for Lurkers. Is anybody getting Cannon Rush is always my question. And so far, no. Nobody's getting cannon rush. We got some overlord scouting. We got. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Sunken rush is kind of fun. It's dead, but that's okay. Zealots pushing into Sunkenville. Good micro from these zealots, actually. Not bad. Kill the overlord. Kill the overlord.
Here comes the Zealot attack, inevitable as it always is in these team games. Sunken count is pretty good though. Four Sunkens with some Zergling support should be enough to handle it. And reinforcing Terran coming in and I'm here to help here as well. Mutalisks out for top left as it should be. Hydras don't really want to engage here against the Marines. Mutalisks heading into the Southlands here. Marines going for a bit of a surround on these Hydras. Hydras in a lot of trouble and they do smartly get out of there. Muta's wiping out an entire mineral line here. There were a lot of drones, but there was a good number. Actually, three of them survive. To come down to die over here where there is no spore at all. There's four hydralisks down here. It's not ideal. So the hydra's doing pretty well with that. Oh, Terran attacking into this natural base attempt. Overlord down, hydra down, hydra down. Base in a lot of trouble all of a sudden. Mutalisks flying by without a care in the world decide to try to stop and take down that hatchery. Yeah, and I mean, that's why StarCraft is so great. There is no one build that is unstoppable in any matchup. That's something that Blizzard works really hard to do to make sure that there's no one thing that is completely uncounterable, even if you scout it. That's why StarCraft is the greatest RTS of all time. All right, well, Red, trying to take the middle here in Big Game Hunters. Hydra versus Marine Medic, not super great. Yeah, I mean, a balanced game is an entertaining game in my opinion. Muta's flying around trying to get stuff done, but the spore count here is kind of insane. So that's not going to work out. Cannons down here in the bottom left. Dragoons versus Hiders. Not usually in favor of the Dragoons, but again, in the numbers, you're good. Yeah, two cannons versus this number of Mutas is not a problem. You're right, Han. Starcraft is hard to pick up and figure out. Starcraft 2, same way. Honestly, difficult, difficult game to learn, but really, really fun to master and get good at anyway. Meanwhile, Hydra push in the top right. And we've got Dragoons pushing into the left side. So we have battles all over the map right now. Red and blue both being aggressors at the moment.
Hydra is actually enough to threaten those mutilists, which is a pretty good number to have. God, God, God. And there's some tank defending out on the right side here as well. Noob trying to help against these Dragoons with the tank count. Dragoon's pretty good against Mutalists. Dragoon's still pushing in on this left side. I mean, I'm not sure what this Terran player is up to, or this Zerg player is up to, but he uh, is getting wrecked and isn't really responding to it at all. I mean, where are his units? He doesn't have anything. He's at 20 total supply. Ah, well that explains why he's not responding. He doesn't have anything to respond with. That production tab is really in the way over here, too, huh? <laughs> Hydra's coming in and trying to save this thing. The Hydras should be able to wipe out these Dragoons, no problem. Yeah, it seems like people are more into MOBAs, Han. I agree. And it's just, I think it's easier for people. I just, I think it is. It's just simpler to control one character rather than an entire army plus your economy. It's a lot comparatively to your average MOBA. So this is enough Protoss to wipe out top right. I mean, trying to help up here with some Marines and Tanks and Medics. But I mean... Trying to get some Lurkers in here against New, but there are Tanks and Missile Turrets here. I don't see it working all that well. All right, so technically top right is not dead, but he only has, I want to say, six drones? Yep. Six drones makes sense. Oh, are you Zerg? Sorry, noob. Oh, that is you. Okay, I don't know why I got that confused and thought you were uh, the Terran. So you're in a lot of trouble then. Top Muter has left the game. He's dead on this left side. Got some DTs trying to save it, but it's just too late. Boy, this zealot could really go to town on these drones if he knew that he existed. If his commander knew that he was there. DT, good unit. Until detection comes in and then suddenly they're not that good anymore. Look who made guardians though. Hey, check this action out. Again, they will drift into range of cannons sometimes because they're dumb. Do you have storm? He's got to have storm. Does he not have storm? He's making an Arbiter Tribunal. He has enough energy for Storm. Wait, why did this guy leave the game? Wow, all right.
Oh gosh, the Zerg, not the Zerg. Wow, so much storm. Whoop, whoop. Looks like we're just clearing out to expand in that bottom right. No! No, the High Templar, no! Okay, the High Templar are all dead. That hurts a lot. Like, immensely a lot. Hey, food stamp champ, guardians are here. Stream has been going for an hour and 39 minutes. Yeah, that's a GG for sure. Lings and guardians versus dragoons is gonna do okay. Especially considering all of your Templar died a second ago. That Protoss leaves the game and blue is your winner. Red here still wants to kill everything, and he's out now, too. That was great. Wow. That was super dumb. All those, all those High Templar are dying. That was rough. That was rough stuff. Yeah, we're going to play a game, Food Stamp Champ. In fact, we're going to play it now. So let's hop on in to single player. The password is Sock, as always. Now, what map did you want us to do, Oleg? You had a suggestion. What was it? I'm going to put a password on this game so that it doesn't get just joined by randos. And the password is going to be Sock. Home worlds, huh? Uh, is that here? It is. Homeworld. Okay. Uh, alright. We'll try this. That sounds fine. I think we've... Did we played this one before? Don't know. Either way, let's go. Have a couple observer slots open. Sock. S-O-C-K. Rainbow Cloud. Adolf Manson. What a name. What a name that is. AC Astragai. Gomatas. Hanex. Oh, food stamp champ. Cool. Well, thank you for your donations in the past. I appreciate that. And yeah, let's get in here. Let's do this. Is anybody interested in observing? We have another empty slot here. Oh, Polo's coming. Did you want to observe or did you just want to watch the cast? That's kind of where we are with this. We have one empty slot here. Do we want to get in there or not? Or just go? Day. Yeah, we're going to do a couple games today. We'll do two, I think. Maybe even three, depending on how it goes. 
check my schedule real fast. What am I up to? Yeah, probably two. Sock, 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 sock. Sock, sock, sock. Sock, sock, sock. The email to send replays is falconpaladin at gmail.com. Subject, a brood war. Oh, nice. You're in port. Very cool. Alright, let's just go. Sorry, man. Can't wait any longer. We're going. You'll get the next one. U.S. West, Han. Find my... Find my match and join it. Password is Sock. Oh, Gomatas. Come on. Yeah, we can get stream. Very true. Sometimes it happens. It's a little laggy. Out around a bit and see what we're doing here. Is there anywhere to expand in this world? Right, sir, you better believe it. Oh, this works, I guess. We'll hang out. Well, welcome back, Fusion Player. Or... Last day of vacation. I don't know if I can see what the observer says. Require more minerals. It's a great question. Galactic War Crime.
Good scouting, man. Somebody's scouting exceptionally well today. Interesting. Let's see what we can do here, huh? the tank, which is pretty good. <laughs> oh, I'm being believed in over here. That's good. Great news, in fact. Oh, GTs, huh? Not bad. CVs in trouble, friends. Hey, I'm doing all right. I'm saving up for mutalisks. You leave me alone, Nemesis Kill. I am saving up for mutas. I'll have you know. seems dead. Yeah, I haven't been injecting well. Completely forgot about my injects. Who's attacking who? I don't see anything. Yeah, no creep spread at all. Forces are under attack. 
Oh no, my overlord died to something. Oh my gosh, mass wraith? What is this? Uh. Uh. Go, go, go. We require more minerals. Yikes. Scary, scary stuff. Okay. We're okay now. Maybe this base is in trouble, though, huh? We require more minerals. We require more minerals. Head up there, see what we can do. Maybe go after this command center a bit, huh? This insanity here. Ah. Well, that needs to die. guys into their deaths, huh? Oh gosh, run. The wraiths are here. The wraiths are here. Run from them. You can't fight them. They have cloak. Out of that, and then fly back here. We'll be fine. They're catching me. All forces are under attack. Yikes, that's a lot of wraiths. Who does that? Do we tech switch now? Is that what we do? All right. We'll make some scourge, I suppose. Get additional upgrades. Overlord, uh, speed is done. That's good. Ah, uh, how do we take him down? Let's see if we can save this guy. Far Cry 3 is pretty good, gotta admit. Jump on top of these guys. Our forces are under attack. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of there. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is definitely time. Gosh, we're making stuff here. Definitely floating now, I would say. Hey man, you just mostly came out of that alive somehow. What? That's insane. I want to try to scourge down these wraiths. You think I can get that? Let's give it a try, huh? Where'd they go? Where are they? Whatever. Hang out with these guys for now. We'll do that. How about? I'm gonna go... A lot of Hydros and push on them too here. guys need to be doing stuff. So let's come up here and try to save the day. My overlord's not coming along? No, because they were dead. You guys set up shop over there. You're in that thing. Spend, spend, spend. Spend, spend, spend. Set a rally up there, you dumbos. Hydras. Let's go. way give them range <laughs> ultralisks that would be good so push up ground you have to go all the way over here huh Not these randos for some reason this map is really confusing. I agree. That's how you have to come all the way up here? That's crazy. Our forces are under attack. up here that we can kill? What do we think? Evolution. Let's go ahead and upgrade our dudes. Oh, no, let's do that first. Ah, there is a base up there. Is that Renji? I'm working on Hive. Behold Hive. You're right. It was late. Team games are weird, though. Multiple things. There we go. There we go. Now 
Now their tanks are gone. Let's kill them. Look, enemies, come up the ramp. And do this. Tech switched. Tech switched, baby. Uh, both sides. I think we have this thing won. Oh, Renji, you were down here. Okay. What the <laughs> Who went the mass scouts? Oh, that's so good. That is so good. I have mutas that I don't know what to do with. Aw, thanks, Ross. Such support. is alive at this stage. That's what I would like to know. I guess brown is, huh? Let's all push on brown. how many tanks he has, huh? Styled on with scouts. <laughs> That's good. That makes me laugh. Come up here, mine from these mineral patches that have not been mined from. Yeah, this map is crazy for pathing. Like, there are ways to get places that make no sense at all. Just send the viewers over. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Okay, all right, back it up. Back it up. Back it up. He is turtled. I mean, these guys are accomplishing something at least, but... All forces are under attack. Okay. No. Uh, Mutas are tanking for the scouts to get stuff done. Our forces are under attack. Let's bring our hydras in. Let's go greater spire in case something crazy is happening. Oh, high ground tanks are here. Okay. That makes sense. Get it! Ah, oh, we got high ground tank. Nice job, us. Let's rally him over here. Yeah, the Alamo. And yes, pizza is good. Are these Mutas still killing stuff? Nice job, Mutas. Actually, we want to get sight range for Overlords. Where are we? Where is stuff? Stuff that needs to die. GG Hanex. GG Oleg. Find me. Are you floating?
anywhere to expand at all? Not really. I guess up here. exciting stuff. I ended up taking third place, which I'm pretty happy about. AC Astra guy. 247 APM. Uh, yep. Yep, good expansion timings too here. I was alright on that. Yeah, what map should we do this time, Renji? Wait, wrong button. I don't want to do big game hunters. We always do big game hunters. Oh good, my game's not loading. Game, there you are. Primeval Isles. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Plains of snow. It's not huge. People are going to die. I'll probably die because I'm Zerg. Station unrest is kind of fun. Bloodbath. I kind of want to do Plains of Snow. Where do I get tribes, Rene? Rene? Alright. Brood War. Tribes. Oh, alright. Tribes it is. Tribes it be. I guess I, I actually have to create it though, huh? Yeah, sure do. Woo, that was fast. It was a fast fill up this time. sign polo yeah polo not looking good for you get it buddy
like really bad. Still kind of laggy. It's not okay. Still lag. Who is it? Look at that. Bob! Just laggy enough that he's not gonna time out. All right, recreate, no Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thanks for ruining that game. No Bob this time. Bob's. Thank you, Bob. I guess. Ross, the boss is going to murder me. That's not good. Don't do that. this expansion is they're talking about. No, huh? How about up here? Can you go up there? No? Where the hug? This way, maybe? Two dudes. Let's have two dudes. Ah, I see. All right. God, my nose is so itchy today. Nah. Require more minerals. Crazy itchy. It's bothering me to no end. Require more minerals. 
laggy, but not terrible. It might get worse as the game goes on, but... It's fine, I guess. <laughs> you know it, Lachlan. You know it. Oh, this is getting bad. Who is it? Who is it? Probe scouting? four here, do I? Sometimes the maps are stupid. I mean, you need four, but not this time. It's called tribes, the Tententu. Woo! Deadly pants! Deadly pants and obs? I don't know. Well, he's gone anyway, I guess. Deadly pants. At least you're gone now. Hopefully it's improved. Hey, look at us go. Thanks for leaving, Deadly Pants. We appreciate it a lot. What are we countering here? Oh, snap. You were right about that, Lawrence. Not wrong, guy. I see that. I see that. Oh, wait, that's two? Whatever, it's fine. I don't actually care. Let's do that, and let's do this. I'll protect our back door a little bit here. 
Thank you, Red, for saving the day. Maybe over here, huh? Require more minerals. Oh, hey, being protected. That was scary for a second. <laughs> Heaven. <sighs> Should be good, honestly. Make some hydralisks, make some drones. Nope. Murdering somebody over here. Cool. Let's go. I'm going to go pressure somebody. Crap, in range. That was bad. Did you scan? Spend that cash. See you hanging out doing nothing right now. Come on, man. Might be able to just get away with something here. up here and why it's very strange
build it. Get over here and build it. Sheesh. something done down here do you think let's give it a try Wait, are we in trouble? Well, my team was doing good. Oh, my base just got sniped. Sure, why not? That's something that happened. Oh, no, it didn't get sniped. What? His army was away. No, not my hatch. Get him. Get them. Our forces are under attack. Red forces are under attack. Hatchery, but there's a medic sitting right there, so I can't do that. Our forces are under attack. Oh, the darn cannons causing me problems here. Oh, thank you for moving the medic. You require more minerals. You require da -da 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 -da. All right, see you, Ross. My drones die here. What's going on? Require more minerals. Ah, more my gosh. Ridiculous. Go mine upstairs then, I guess. Let's go. Good teamwork, huh? Our forces are under attack. <laughs> oh no, maybe. Might be a bit unbalanced. Something it often is in these team games. Dead. I do have adrenal glands, yes, Lawrence. <laughs> Finish off green down here. What do we think? Our 
forces are under attack. The upgrades aren't bad here, guys, right? I have a third. Where do you need me to go? I'll expand over here. Our forces are under attack. The hive cluster is under attack. Ah! It says the hive cluster is under attack after all of my drones are dead. So that's great. Thanks for that. On my Zerglings, seriously. Walk, 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 walk. Our forces are under attack. What the heck? Oh, I'm getting double to this. This one guy, or I don't know what this is. My sunkens are in trouble. Oh, I am dead. You should have made more than or wings, probably. Two pinks? Our forces are under attack. I know I have this, actually, which would be hilarious. I mean, Dragoons don't do very well in this situation anyway. We've got pink. Pink, red, and green are all still alive. Like, this is not we dead or anything. I mean, not entirely anyway. some sneaky stuff. Storm exists. Oh, I feel good about storm existing. La 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 la. Never got the range upgrade for my Hydras? How did that happen? Also hilarious.
Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I have adrenal glands for my lings. See, it's not available to upgrade anymore. Do a thing. How do you know, adrenal gland lings are very good. Let's see, who do I want to go after here? I know. He left? Oh, he's left. Was he who killed me earlier? I think it was. Revenge! Revenge is mine. dead too. Well, okay. I mean, that was entirely my teammates in that game. Annex is still in it. I don't know where he is, mind you, but he's still here. And this doesn't really matter anymore unless you want to get some kills. I sort of do. So out, 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 out. Who is in? some stuff down. Probably. Mm, I didn't get nukes, so that's good. That was weird. What happened? Hooray! Is that all that was left was a pylon? 
Who got the nuke off? That's hilarious. I took, wow, like fifth place in this game. It was not good. I was not quite ready for that marine attack, but teammates helped out. It's always nice. Renji had a good game, though. It's not too bad. Cool. That was fun. It was good. All right. Well, it is time for me to get out of here, go to some productive stuff today. So thank you for hanging out, as always. We'll be back next Saturday with more StarCraft Brood War. Send me your replays to falconpaladin at gmail.com, the subject of a brood war. And until next time, as always, you take care of yourself. I appreciate it, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and sending you guys love. All right. Goodbye.